So my next haul is from Harl hallmarkscrapbooking.com um, they had an extra 10% off a lawn fawn stuff recently so I thought I'd stock up on some older dyes that I haven't got yet or some um, coordinating dyes a few other things that um, I wanted as well so to put up this one here first is put a bow on it love this one um, I've got like the mama elephant but it's a mini bow they make little tiny bows um, and I really like that this made big bows. I've sort of been eyeing it off for quite a while, but um, yeah, I totally want to just make bows. Maybe not for card making, but just for like presents. Why can't I use all my scrap paper and make pretty bows and then I can put them on presents when I give them to people. So instead of buying the bows from the, you know, two dollar shop or wrapping paper stores and all that sort of stuff. So I've kind of, this is more of a party decorating thing. Um, this one. And then, as far as the old coordinating dies go, so I got the dies for these dies here. I already had the stamp set, but it's for Booya. I, I remember, specifically I remember, in a different haul video saying, I don't need the dies. Why would I need the dies? I'm just going to mask everything and do, because I want it all to be masked. Well, then I thought, but what if I want to use the little party a pirate hat on a different critter, or the witch hat on a different critter, or the, you know, what if I wanted not to use these, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm going to be cutting out things forever, so I got the dies. Um, so that, yeah, with Lawn Fawn, they're really good at putting dies in for pretty much everything, so you've got all the um, ghosts, you got all the hats, you got all these little things down here, like little accessories, the boo, and all that sort of stuff. So that's really cool. So I grab the die. That one. Yay. It even has the little spider. How cool is that? <laughs> so anyway, so I got that. I also grabbed the one here. And this is for Critters in the Burbs. I was cutting out the squirrel for a different card recently. And I'm like, what? I don't have the dies for this one yet. Is that? Come on. I use this one all the time. So anyway, I grabbed it as well. This one here, I haven't cut it apart yet because I wanted to see if it would work for this doesn't work out perfectly. I looked at it, but I just left it anyway. Because <laughs> I really don't want to have to cut out the inside of the um, the wheel, uh, the, yes, the tire swing um, all the time. But this little round one is actually for the tennis ball. So I'm going to try it. I'm going to color it up and cut it out and see how bad it looks. Um, or see if I have a different from a different set that's a little bit smaller than that one that I can just chuck in the middle and then I'll just tape them permanently together. To see if it works so I can just avoid cutting that out. But yeah, so I grabbed the dies for that one. It's got the nice big tree and everything else. And the only disappointing part is that it doesn't cut out the middle of the tire circle. Ah! But anyway, the rest of it's good. And then I also had, for year five and year four, I didn't have the dies for them either. So I grabbed them as well. So I can't remember if they weren't in stock last time or whatever. But um, yeah, I really wanted the dies for these two. So, as far as other Lawn Fawn stuff, now this is from their newer release though, but because they had the 10% off, I decided to grab these. So, this one here is the Hello die, and it die cuts the hole so you can sort of do your stitching and make it look like. I remember doing a card ages ago, maybe two years ago, where I hand poked all of those holes and I had it say hello, and I'm like, oh, this die would have been perfect back then because it was such. Like, just you had to hand write it out and then poke holes and then, oh. So anyway, uh, when I was looking, I'm like, hey, this is so good. So I might in future get the thanks as well. But for now, I just grabbed the hello. And that's basically what it is like. And they've even done like a little stitching guide. So if you get lost, you know where to go next. So I like that. Um, and then I also got um, Hang In There. So I wasn't sure about this one originally. I know sloths are huge right now. Um, and... And they're just in trend. Ooh, stuff falling all over. Um, but I wasn't sure which one I wanted because I don't know if I need like five different sets of sloths. But in the end, I decided on the Lawn Fawn one because A, it's only like a half size one, so it's not super expensive. It's got a really cute sloth and a really cute um, branch it's hanging from. And my favorite one is Hello. <laughs> it's just the awesomest sentiment ever. I'm just going to put Hello on everything. Um, but then it also has happy birthday, hang in there, take it easy, and it's got the little brackets and you have belated, so you can have happy belated birthday, sorry I'm slow. And of course, hello, 
Um, then you got the leaves. So there's two outline, one double leaf and one single, and there's also the little solid one to um, leaf as well to put on the branch. You've got a little party hat and the little heart and all the exclamation point. So yeah, this one will be really, really cute. Um, they actually did a really nice card recently on their blog. Um, and it was like a nighttime scene and this little guy was colored with Prismacolors on colored like dark blue cardstock. It looks stunning. So yay! I'd already ordered it by then but yeah I was thinking oh there's another great idea. I hadn't thought of doing a night scene. So um, I think this would be great for any of your jungle themes. I've got those leaves from uh, Waffle Flower that are just these dyes of these big um, beautiful leaves. So um, I totally, and I like the jungle sort of leaves, so I think that would look really good with this sentiment, or sorry, with this stamp set, and do a really nice scene with that, and have this guy's little focal point. Um, I also think you could totally do him, like suspended in between the cards, um, just do some selective, selective die cutting, so you sort of cut out just the middle and then leave the insides, and it's like, you can have like a little oval and he'll be attached on both sides. Um, yeah, I think that would be really cool as well. So I've got anything that sort of also swings. Just because then you can have the tree and it can be look like it's swishing in the in the wind and all that sort of stuff. So I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna to manage to make this happen yet, but there I'm sure there's a way. <laughs> so anyway, I really like this guy. And considering it's just the one stamp set essentially, um, there's quite a few different uses for him as well. No, it doesn't really work. It really is the hanging this way, though. So I think that's great. And then I also grabbed uh, the map Meow You Doin'. And what sold this stamp set to me was the tuna can with the candle. Oh my god. I mean, seriously, only Lawn Fawn would come up with putting a candle on the tuna can. <laughs> it was so cute. So this one comes with four um, cats, and it's got a little cat bed as well. The yarn, the string for the yarn, the zeds. Um, for the sleepy kitty, um, the dead fish, the mouse, the little party hat, some hearts, and a little paw. Plus all the sentiments are happy Perth day, meow you doing, plus you, thank mew, I love, and then mew, or meow, there's meow and there's mew, so there's both. And then be positive, I need you, wishing you a possum day, the cat, um, as in from the cat, <laughs> like that. Let's be friends forever. So there's quite a few sentiments um, that you can obviously mix and match. Like all these words are separate, so you can totally mix them and match them. Um, it's just like this one here that is one full one, and then this one, and the cat is also. But the rest are pretty um, separated. So I really like the set. I grabbed the dives as well because I totally see myself making many, many scenes with these. Um, everything for clean and simple with just the little kitty cat and the tuna fish next to them. Um, to, you know, having a really relaxed cat and, you know, just on his little mat and sleepy and do a nice watercolor sort of background for him. Um, yeah, there's lots of cute little things to do and like this little cat can be like scratching either the carpet or or some furniture or just stretching and this guy I totally want to see this yarn ball here and either on a mini action wobble so it looks like it's moving around um, I've seen some with the slider with the yarn going around and like a circle of the cat I thought that was really cool as well so there's quite a few little cute things uh, to do with this nice little lawn fawn set um, and then as far as non lawn fawn things there's a few things I want to get from Stamp Pendus. There is this one's called Cling Tiny Trailer. I really like this one. I just, I don't know, as, as far as the old fashioned um, caravans go, this is a pretty cute one. So I want to color it in like a cream and mint and have the cute little potted things um, all colored up. I just think, yeah, and totally have. I've got plenty of camping stamp sets that I can totally find a sentiment to go with this, not a problem. Um, it's on, I think it's gray rubber, these ones. Let me pull it out. Yeah, so this one's, these stamp sets are a bit weird compared to others. Like, so the cling is actually bigger than the actual stamp. So this little plastic is the cling stuff. I don't know. Anyway, it's on gray rubber, so it's just slightly different, but it'll still stick to your cling 
um, block just the same. Um, but yeah, it's just a little bit different from other companies. So I grabbed this one as well. Uh, from Neat and Tangled, and this one I have been wanting for so long, and it's been so out of stock, and then from Simon Says that stamp, it's way too expensive, considering what it is. Um, so anyway, I go out from Hallmark, and it's basically two dies. One is just a circle with the dots, and they are... So one is slightly smaller than the other one, so they sort of fit inside of each other. If, that, if you can see. So you can do the big one as your background with your white. You can have the white clouds showing through. Um, and then you've got this one here, which die cuts heat to different place. You could do it, die cut this one two or three times. So the background color is these clouds that are cut out. So then you have another cloud that cuts out, and then the sky, and then the ocean with all the little waves in it. So you could totally die cut it out of two different colors and create a whole scene with just this die. And I think it's stunning. Um, so I definitely want to use this in, with my um, koala, pirate koalas. So this is one of those dies that I was thinking that I would use for that um, thing to create a scene in the background um, or any sort of, and also like the Loch Ness Monster from the Lawn Fawn stamp set that I've got. So yeah, I have envisioned plenty of these <laughs> uh, cards with just this set and I just love that you can paper piece this one. Um, and then I got two, some things from W plus nine. So I already bought the stamp set, but the, the house dies were out of stock. So I grabbed the dies for them because they're finally in stock. Um, yeah, I've already said that I totally want to be watercoloring and there's so many stunning cards of these, um, and doing up scenes and everything else. It'll just be easier to have the house dies so I can create a street scene easily. So that's that one. And then I also grabbed, um, from W plus nine, the B Mary florals and the die to go with it. Um, this came out in the same release as the houses and stuff. Um, and originally I sort of didn't think about it. I was thinking, oh, I don't really need that. And then looking at it, you know, in hindsight, I probably would have really liked it at the time. Because all these flowers, not really Christmas flowers, like yes, you've got the holly leaves, but aside from these holly leaves, that's pretty much the only thing that's, you know, Christmas. Everything else can be used year round and they look really good. Um, with all of the, um, like it's a build a flower sort of thing because you got the outside and you got the inners. It's basically a two stamp process um, for a lot of these, like these little flowers sit on the stems and all that sort of thing. So I think that is really, really good. Um, <laughs> FYO, I though, I nearly lost two of these stamps when I was trying to prep them because they are so tiny, like these little it's just slashes. So just be careful because I'm like, ah! <laughs> I nearly went down the sink because I was just giving him a rinse. Anyway, I saved him, so it was good. Um, but yeah, I wanted to get this one for year round. Yes, I've got holly leaves, which is great, and I can use it for Christmas, but totally want to use this one for year rounds for stuff. And there's heaps of examples on their blog of um, how, like, color combinations and stuff like that. So that is my order from Hallmark Scrapbooking.